we've trained a neural network using a training set of images of handwritten digits. Now let's use that trained network and give it a test image and then see what the network will predict its output as. So first we are setting up a function that's going to predict an output for an image. So test prediction is that function. It's basically lasagna.layers.getOutput and you have to pass in the network that you have trained. Then we are setting up a function that's going to take in an input variable and then give the test prediction for that input variable. When we downloaded the images database from MNIST, we had two sets of images. One was a training set and one was a test set. So we'll just pass in the first image in the test set to this particular function and see what the output turns out to be. So val function is a function that will take in an input variable and give the prediction of the neural network. Let's see what the output is. It will be an array of 10 numbers. As you can see, each number in this array is a number between 0 to 1. The max value is at the index 7. So the digit that this particular network is predicting for this image is 7. Let's check the actual value of the digit. So we'll just see from y test, which is the array of labels for x test, what is the corresponding value of that digit? And it is 7. So this particular image seems to have been classified correctly. But let's feed a test data set of 10,000 images, which is what we downloaded, and actually compute the percentage accuracy of the neural network. So similar to how we set up a function that would predict for a single output, we need to set up a function that will take in an array of images and their labels and predict what the output is for each of those images, then compute the accuracy based on the actual labels. So test prediction is exactly like before. It's going to use lasagna layers, get output and pass in the trained network to it. Then we have the test accuracy. This basically is a function that will compare the output for each image in the test set with the actual value in the labels. So t dot argmax of test prediction will go to get, tell us the index of the max value in the predicted array. And then this will be compared with the value of the actual label, the value in the target var. Capital T dot mean will give us the accuracy. So these capital T dot mean, capital D dot EQ and argmax are all functions in Theano. But the basic idea you could implement using a for loop and numpy as well. Find the max value within each array, compare that with the corresponding value in the test output and then keep incrementing whether it is correct or not, compute the final accuracy. So here we are setting up a function that's going to take in the, an input variable and its labels, input var and target var, an array of images and its labels, and then return us the accuracy. We'll call this function on our test data set, x test and y test, and see what the accuracy is. So it gave a 31% accuracy. One thing we could fix here is to give an option called deterministic equals true. This will just make sure that when your output is being calculated, you're not doing the dropout that we were doing earlier. That dropout would keep randomly dropping edges whenever it's passing data through the network. If we remove that and keep the weights currently constant, then we will get a better accuracy. 
but still it's pretty poor. To improve this, there are a number of different things that you could do. First, you could run the training for more number of steps. That's a given. Then you could also divide the training step arbitrarily into smaller data sets. And in each training step, you are running the training on that smaller data set. This would make your training faster and would make you reach a conversions point faster. So with a smaller number of steps also, you would reach a minimum error faster. Also, it would help you avoid overfitting since you are training the network on different data sets each time. 